Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another predictions video, and in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Volkanovski versus Makachev rematch. And so, if you are new around here though, and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like video if you do indeed like video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, uh, Volkanovski is 26 and two with 13 KOs and three submissions, and Makachev is 24 and one with four KOs and 11 submissions. This fight is for the UFC lightweight title. Volkanovski's last fight was a win via KO in round 5 versus Rodriguez and Makachev's last fight was the last fight between the two of them uh, ending with Makachev winning via unanimous decision. Volkanovski is coming in on short notice, I believe it's about 2-3 to three weeks notice. Uh, Makachev, he's been trained with Oliveira who is definitely a different kind of fighter to what Volkanovski is um, and so they're both not really been preparing fully for this fight I don't believe um, but every good fighter they're always going to be in shape and be ready for any opposition that might get put in front of them and I'm sure that they both will be and if it's anything like the last fight I'm sure it's going to be a great fight. Volkanovski is 35 and Makachev is 31. Makachev is a southpaw and uh, just to speak a, bit, a little bit more about what I just said there um, of course this being back for the lightweight title uh, Volkanovski moving back up in weight again. Um, Volkanovski managing to get back to winning ways and proving in his last fight that the defeat didn't really define him as a fighter and he's still a, a great fighter and the best featherweight around at the moment and proved that, like I said, in his last fighter with a good performance. And Makachev, I mean, he's not fought for a little while now, but it was a very good fight last time out, like I mentioned. And I'll speak a little bit more about everything else in a moment, but um, of course Volkanovski having that bit of an age deficit against him, but it seems like he's still kind of hanging around in his prime at the moment, so maybe he's just had a little bit of a later prime, um, and Makachev, obviously a southpaw, is difficult for anybody. Also on this card though is Chemaev versus Usman, in which I think Chemaev will win via unanimous decision. Uh, another great fight on this card, it's amazing how this card's gone from being a, a good card, uh, a nice card, a card which I was excited for, to an amazing card which I can't wait for, and uh, it's just p credit to the UFC and the ability that they have to just make fights happen so easily, and it's nice to see. Uh, with this fight, I think it's going to be interesting to see where Usman's head at since coming off the defeats. I respect him for taking this fight as well on short notice, and Coming off the defeats, he could have maybe taken, not an easier fight, but a fight which was against maybe a different lower level contender. Um, but Chimaev's on an amazing momentum train at the moment and seen as the most kind of ducked guy in the division and one of the most scary guys in UFC at the moment. And he's come and stepped up and done it. And I mean, they've been going back and forth for a little while now, so it's nice to see the fight actually happening. Um, and this is definitely a better fight than what, in my opinion, Costa versus Chimaev would have been. Um, but fight-wise, I think, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see where Usman's head's at. Um, I think Chimaev definitely could come in explosive as always and try and shoot early, but I feel like there might be a little element of respect there like he had against Gilbert Burns. And But I feel like Chimaev, as well as Usman, to be fair, they've both got immense amounts of heart, and I think this fight could be an amazing fight as well as of course the main event and I, I think Chimaev will just edge it um, I think he's just going to push the tempo a little bit more and try and put Usman on the back foot if Usman can put Chimaev on the back foot that could really change things around but um, yeah like I mentioned I think Chimaev will win via unanimous decision going back on to the main event Volkanovski as a fighter he's strong he hits hard he's got good stern leg kicks inside leg kicks especially are very good He's tough, accurate, a pressure fighter, got a high guard, he's composed, he, he's been learning with every every kind of fight and he learns with every fighter he uh, is against and when he fought Holloway he improved with every fight and he learned about his fight and that's why I feel like this fight could be going into his favour in that element because now he has experienced that kind of rematch kind of, well I mean he had a trilogy against Holloway but he learnt about his opponent and came in with a better game plan each time and improved with each fight and put on a better performance with each fight and so I feel like that's sometimes what he possibly might be needing to just fully get a grasp of his opponents and 
if he comes in with a great game plan again, which I'm sure he will, um, then he might be able to find success again. Closes the gap very well. He's got high output. He's got solid defence, especially against the takedown when he's up against the cage. It's that he had success with it and was putting Makachev off a little bit with it on the fence. Obviously, Makachev's a very crafty kind of fighter and will be able to take you down well and is very good at it. And that he put on some solid defence, especially, like I said, against the cage at times in the last fight. He's got good scrambles as well. Like I said, he used that quite well against Makachev in the first fight. He fights to the very end. That's just in every fight. And he's not afraid to go in against anybody. I think they've proved that from going in on short notice against Makachev here. And even as the smaller guy, he's not he's not scared. And he's going to push the tempo and push the pace and be the more aggressor. I, in my opinion, if Volkanovski was to fight John Jones, not to say he would win, but I feel like he would push the pressure and put it on him and really just walk him down the whole time and try his best to walk him down the whole time. And that's why I really like him and respect him as a fighter. I, Like I said, I really like him. Um, for me, one of my favourite fighters in the UFC and, in my opinion, definitely the best featherweight ever. But is he been able to move up into lightweight? Is that just a step too far uh, with the bigger guys? You don't know. This fight is definitely going to decide that, in my opinion. Um, but last time out, he didn't really look out of his depth. He's just was just little things which he could have done better um negatives about him of course he is the smaller guy that comes with an element it means he has to close the gap and he has to he can't really sit at a range and he doesn't really want to because he is but more of an inside fighter but there's been fights in the past where i might I'd go back to the korean zombie fight where he had a bit more success at a bit more of a range and using them straight shots well and so you know it, it he doesn't want to be the smaller fighter all the time I suppose but I also would say that he is used to it at this point he comes in a bit wildly as well when he comes in he kind of puts his head down a little bit and just kind of runs in with his arms swinging and it means he can get countered and Makachev's a good counter he proved it against Oliveira and to be fair proved it against Volkanovski as well he landed some good counters and so it's not the best to be running in wildly he does trade straight on as well and he is willing to get into a war and trade and if he's landing it on the bigger guy and not landing the shots which maybe he was wanting to be landing uh, against the counter like I said like Makachev if he's training straight on then he can definitely get caught easier he's not as comfortable on the ground I would like to say that the whole kind of thing that the things that he was doing in that first fight where he was like sticking his thumb up and everything like that it, when he was on the ground it was maybe just to kind of play up to the cameras a bit um i still don't believe he is as comfortable on the ground as maybe what he shows um and i feel like when makachev is on the ground he can definitely be the one that has more success and i think volkanovsky knows that and knows that he can't spend too long on the ground uh but speak about makachev as a fighter he knows how how to win and knows he can win against volkanovsky now same with every fighter when they win the first fight of a fight when they go into a rematch against that same person especially when it's relatively soon after the last one they know that they can win and they know what they have to do to be able to win and the other fighter who lost it's all on them to really come in with that different kind of game plan or stick to that same game plan and just try and see if they can find success and not get caught out with the same kind of stuff which caught them out in the first fight he's also fast he's can be a quick starter um in the first fight against volkanovsky he wasn't really uh, but against Oliver he was and so I suppose it depends who's against I think his game plan against Volkanovski was good uh, the fact that he didn't start quickly because I feel like Volkanovski is going to start quickly and he's going to push the pressure on the kind of attack and on his feet and if he can be a bit more composed Makachev and slow it down a bit at the start then he can then find the openings and the timings to then be able to counter or go in for a takedown and you know, but then when you're against somebody like Oliveira, who he, he's been training for, um, you want to kind of maybe start a bit quicker because Oliveira, he can get caught early on and he did against Makachev and he isn't really wanting to trade really too much and he wants to go to the ground as soon as possible and that kind of slow tempo. Um, so I suppose it's good game plan, good game planning from him and that's what he comes in with. He's got great movement. 
He's got a great takedown defense as well. He's southpaw, like I mentioned. He capitalizes when he is on the top. He's got a strong, solid base, good foundation to him. He's a bit more of an inside fighter as well. Um, I don't feel like he's massively a fighter that's going to keep his range um, against Volkanovski, even though he is the bigger guy and he can do that. Like I said, he's crafty. He's got very good takedowns and variation of takedowns, and he'll trip you and or just go for a double leg or you can go through many different options and it's difficult to be able to work out what he's going to do and with his timing being so spot on as well like I said it's difficult to be able to counteract some of his takedowns or most of his takedowns like I said he's a very good counter as well he's a pressure fighter as well he will kind of throw you around he did that against Volkanovski and that's where he found most of his success he was being able to throw Volkanovski around and I feel like that might have caught Volkanovski out of like he caught him off guard a little bit because I don't think he's ever really experienced that in the lower weight division and coming up he Makachev did what he had to do in the way of throwing him around and using his strength and proving to Volkanovski that there is a strength difference and you can't just do the same things that you were doing in the featherweight division and getting away with it and if you are being allowed to show your back then I'm going to capitalize on it and that's what Makachev did so fair play to him and like I said his timing is very good as well his negatives, he can get hit when he's on top. Um, sometimes he maybe sits on there for a little bit too long. Uh, when he's under pressure on his feet on the inside, he's an inside fighter, but that's because I think his timing's good. Um, but if he's getting pushed back and isn't timing it enough, then he's definitely going to take a couple before maybe he times that one when he is coming in. So he does also take shots in that aspect. He stands a bit more straight up when he's on his feet. He looks a bit less un, a bit less natural when he is on his feet. And he's not overly quick, really. There's not really much uh, overly quick speed about him. Um, but that's not really what he's showing or what he needs to prove. But uh, just thought I'd mention that. Makachev is the favourite for this fight. And I think that Volkanovski will win via unanimous decision. The last fight was a close fight. Uh, it's a very good fight. Uh, I did have Makachev winning it. I said that Volkanovski would have won. Um, I think I said late stoppage. But I think Volkanovski, he's just really got to be able to keep it on the, on the feet for a bit longer. And I think maybe a round longer than I think Volkanovski could have won that last fight. And if he can do that, then you never know. Like, And if he just doesn't do anything stupid and doesn't get too comfortable and doesn't come in too recklessly and get caught with counter shots where he did in the last fight then I think he can win via unanimous decision I think this fight is a very close fight either way that's what makes this such a good fight like I said in my opinion I think Volkanovski is going to just edge it it wouldn't surprise me if it's even a split decision and then we see a third fight that's who I've got on to impossibly fight next he could fight Makachev again at that point, it would be 1-1. Um, if not, Topura, if he wants to go back down to featherweight. Um, but I feel like if he wins this fight, then he could definitely be open to fighting another fight in the lightweight division. And then, so I've put Oliveira. You never know, that could be another fight that could happen. Uh, that would be interesting, in my opinion, because it's such a contrast in styles, I believe. Um, but either way, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like if you didn't, like if you're new. And thanks for watching.